Hey guys, it's Yanksrock1000 here, finally back with another video. I haven't had one in a while, so I thought I'd make one to let you know what I've been up to. So as you can see here, I have a black MacBook. And so recently I have been buying PowerPC MacBooks, upgrading them, selling them on eBay, as I've always been doing. But I decided it was time to get a different type of laptop. And as you can see here, I have purchased the black MacBook, which is a laptop that I've always really wanted to have. And here I'm trying to turn it on. And yeah, I bought it on eBay for a really good price, like 50 bucks total, including shipping. Uh, I just went on eBay, looked at the newly listed buy it nows, and I bought it right away. And as you can see, it is a pretty nice laptop. Uh, these 2006 to 2008 MacBooks have always had these cracking problems at the bottom. And as you can see here, this is no different. There's two big cracks at the bottom. And even at the top, there's a crack. And also, this uh, the battery of this MacBook doesn't work. And when I bought it also, the CD drive didn't work either. So I guess it was kind of a fixer-upper, but for 50 bucks, when they're selling for 150 bucks mostly on eBay, I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I replaced the CD drive, which is actually one of the toughest repairs that, are, that I've had to do on a laptop, mostly because I had to take off a lot of the little components that are on the CD drive and reattach them to the one that's in here. So it was a little difficult. But as you can see here, we're into the laptop. And I personally wiped the laptop. It's 160 gigabytes, but when I bought it, it only showed like, it showed that um, like 60 gigabytes were taken up. I don't know why. So I wiped the laptop with a uh, USB stick, which I have somewhere over there. And I installed 10.7.5 Lion. And as you can see here, I'll show you the specs. This is a late 2006 MacBook. It shows white on here, even though it's black. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, 2.0 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, which is, uh, it, it's a processor that's held up pretty well in the past few years, actually. It has two gigabytes of memory, and I think it can be upgraded to three but I didn't really bother for one gigabyte. And uh, just Intel graphics and all that. So like I said, it's a Core 2 Duo processor and uh, which is held up pretty well. So I'll just open up Safari and we can see how fast it opens, the actual application itself. And yet actually open up pretty fast. Uh, I'll open up Saf uh, iTunes also at the same time and we'll see how fast that opens. I don't think I have any music on there. And it opened up into full screen, which of course is a feature that's that was introduced in Lion. And uh, let's see, I'll open up something else. The Mac App Store also, and we'll see how fast that opens. And yeah, it opens up pretty fast, so I'll close all this stuff. Um, the good thing about these Core 2 Duo MacBooks is that actually they've, they've held up pretty well. Um, this particular MacBook, the keyboard, is fully working. Trackpad is a little old, as you can see. I think the previous owner used this probably as their main, main laptop for a long time. Uh, Two-finger scrolling works on this laptop, as you can see. And it is that the natural scrolling that Apple introduced, but you can switch that out in the settings. And uh, this MacBook also has a webcam as well. It's not very good. But I guess uh, for 2006, it probably was pretty good. Uh, I'm used to reviewing iBooks and uh, PowerBooks and iBook G4s and all those PowerPCs. So it's actually a breath of fresh air to use these uh, newer MacBooks, even though it's about eight years old. Um, really, I could have upgraded this MacBook to uh, an SSD and... Um, maybe added some more RAM, fixed up the battery, and it would have been totally usable.
it is totally usable actually. Um, but since I got it so cheap and I replaced this for like six bucks, I actually just put it straight on eBay again and I'm probably going to sell it for like $130. So, um, what a more than double my money. So I'm more than happy about it. Think about these laptops, these black ones, they're really nice. Uh, I, th I think they're one of the nicest laptops that Apple's ever made. And, uh, that's coming from me. I've used a lot of Apple MacBooks. Um, of course, uh, they're not as nice as the newer aluminum MacBooks, but um, I think they're a lot nicer than the white ones. Um, I know that you can customize these laptops too, since the components are virtually the same as the white. So I know that some people are replaced, like replace the outer casing with white, or replace with white keys. Uh, so that's actually really cool that Apple had two colors of the same thing. Uh, they really haven't done that ever. Beforehand, the iBooks were only one color, and nowadays the uh, aluminum MacBooks are only one color as well. So it was an interesting one and a half years. So uh, that's just what I've been up to. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed seeing what I've been doing with this laptop. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully not in too long. Thanks.